Hey there, YouTube. Let me introduce you to the star of the show. This is the Palm TX. Very nice PDA uh, released in October 2005. It was still in production until 2009. Um, I consider this to be one of the best Palm uh, PDAs manufactured. It's also one of the last, which was sad. This one I got from eBay. It was being sold as spares or repairs. The reason being was it couldn't hold a full charge. Um, you'd charge it, but then within minutes it was practically flat. Plug in a charger, within a minute it was 100% again. Um, it was just rinse and repeat, it just kept on draining. Um, so the first thing I tried was to do a soft reset whilst it was charging, whilst the charger was plugged in. So let's just uh, plug in the sync cable. So yeah, you've got the lightning bolt on the battery. So just turn it over, press the reset button. And yes, the device boots up again, which is all good. So ideally, uh, to fix this, you could leave this uh, charging for at least three hours and see if that resolves the problem. Um, but when I was looking at the back, I don't know if you can see it, this, but there's a slight bulge in the case. It's not completely flush like it should be. So I'm thinking maybe it's the battery. Uh, that's swelling, which means uh, gases could be uh, venting up inside the battery and will eventually burst through the case, cause a minor conflagration, burn down the house, that sort of stuff, which I don't think I want. So I'm going to uh, disconnect that. So I think I should fit a new battery in. These can be obtained uh, quite cheaply. Um, as long as you use a reputable manufacturer, you should be okay. So you need to dismantle the case. I'll need to do some spot welding as the battery has wires attached. You need to uh, solder to the motherboard. So this video is going to be all about that. So uh, let's go. Screw. Second screw. To lose these. There, so going to slip back. <laughs> ah. is genuinely terrifying. It's good we're making progress now. Ah, I can see the battery. And I don't know if you can see in here. But yeah. Lid open. So red and black it's holding train. So ah, uh, there we are. So is there a way to get the battery off? 
this glued in. So if we Just adhesive, so it's the battery set well. So this is the new battery I'm going to use. Um, yeah, they had several ones, but. Uh, what was the one that seemed the most reliable? Amaran Sire. This is going to replace the battery. And yeah, we've got back and. Uh, so, what I could do is I could trim these short and solder wires together, or I could solder directly to the circuit board. So let's just have a slurp of have a think about it. Let's just twist this around. Think of some way to remember all this one. Red over there. Boom. Let's just repeat the process of what so, these round it. That comes over. Just get it back into the case. There's a gap for the stylus. So another gap for the uh, cover. Sort of a notebook type. It's a glossed type of It's getting trapped there. Again. Yes, yeah, so that's looking. Nice. Should I power it on? Oh, well, that answers my question. Oh, promising. Pressure's on. That's clever. I never actually noticed that about palms. If you tap the battery, it'll give you the battery percentage. Well, you learn something new every day. I was going to say refurbished. Bodged. I think that's the word. There's my bodged Palm TX. So I can now play uh, <laughs> Space Trader and Solitaire to my heart's content. Okay, thanks for watching. See ya.